Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. Uh, if you want to check out my new free courses in the description below, you will have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, just uploaded that to my new website. Guys, I got to take a look at this video today. Uh, I've been waiting a couple of weeks. I've been really busy. And finally, I get to sit down and finish looking at some of these videos and giving you guys my thoughts. So this looks like it's an, an advanced strictly competition at Savoy Cup 2022. So you guys know the advanced level. A lot of people who have a lot of stuff to prove, and I can't wait to see what goes down in this one to give you guys my thoughts. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm really feeling the logo every time I see it. All right. Advanced Strictly Finals. Uh, let's see. Florian and Marais. Here we go. Okay, okay. Old Dree and Sirius. Could be serious. Simon and Pauline. Right, Sophia and Hydric. All right, Alex and Ellie. Hey, like that quick change. It's so, it's, oh, ho, ho, I saw that extra turn. Those extra turns are dope. Vilma and Victor. <laughs> like that turn, just stare. Woo, Jean-Philippe and Margot. I saw that quick change. Oh man, I wish I wish uh, that quick change would have come a little later so people could appreciate it. Yes, that was really tight. That was really tight. Okay, this looks like round two. Hey, that was good. That was good. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh, good. That was a good change. Oh, I really love his swing out. Ah. Oh. Yes, yeah, some classic Lindy Hot moves, folks. Yes. Good change, good change, good change. That was cool. Hey, there we go. I know that move, baby. Ho oh, ho, yes. <laughs> ah. Yes, good. Good technique, guys. Oh, that was good. That was smooth. Nice. Yes. 
Ah, oh, I can't wait to tell you guys what I think about this one. Yes, the obligatory swing out line. Ah. <laughs> yes. Boom. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Good. This was so good on so many levels. Wow. I told you. I told you. The advanced level is a very dangerous level to compete against. Now, if you are an experienced competitor and you're in a higher level, some of those people kind of take it easy. They don't want to go against an advanced person. They're like, no, I'm going I'm to sit this one out. I'll sit this one out. But yeah, you got to watch these, these advanced level competitors. They still have something to prove. They're not quite in that invitational level yet, but their skill set is. And that's what I love about it. Guys, this one all around was super profound there's so much talent being displayed here and might i say there was some clear personality real distinction let, let's go over this let me man let me tell you my third place person wow my third place person and why oh this is tough i i, I gotta first give it up to everybody no one was slacking in this i i won't say slacking in intention I will say some some of the dancing wasn't as tight as some of the others. That's okay. That's the truth. That's just that's just the way it is. Not everybody gets a trophy. But in this one, everybody brought it with energy. And I've got to tell you, my my third place is Simon and Pauline, guys. I love this couple. I've never look, just look when they come out. This is what sold me. Those swing outs right there and how tight it is between the swing out, going into some Charleston, and I really like their styling. It is super vintage Lindy Hop, like second generation Lindy Hop. Oh, it was so good. Even their second set, as they come out here, beautiful swing outs, both of them. So clean, so distinct. Their Charleston's rough and raw looking, and they double it up on that classic move. That was pretty cool. That, that was a good one. Man, I got to say, guys, they, they were the surprise couple for me. They were the surprise because I was looking at it and I thought, sweet, and I, I haven't seen this couple. They might be a newer couple. I don't know. I don't know everybody. I, you know, I see a lot of familiar faces and a lot of different competitions, but I got to tell you, they were fresh. They were the, the breath of fresh air for me in this competition. Now, they had they had the timing they had some beautiful styling that I liked, but if I'm if I'm going to be consistent, I look at control, timing, and creativity. And if you have all three of those, you're generally the first place person. Now, this couple for me, if I was going to categorize them, the reason they're third is because of their their control. I really loved how well they were technical with each other. You can see it's classic Lindy Hop styling. That's cool. It's not necessarily my favorite. It's not my worst, but I like it. I like the styling, but I got to say that wasn't the reason I picked him as third. The reason I picked him was because of their control. Beautiful swing outs. They had the best swing outs to me. For, for me, if you just had had a swing out competition, that they were the best by far. Now, my second place, my second and my, th my first place is really close. They're really close. Let's talk about it. So second place, Alex and Ellie, guys. <laughs> Look at this. When they when they first come out, boom, right here. And I they first grab my attention right here. That little quick change. And they go right into moving into their, their other sequences here. They're doing a lot. Oh, that extra turn. See, sometimes it's just an extra turn. Like when you see them on the second set here. Solid swing outs. Beautiful control. I love it. Just like the third place person, but right there, that little span, ah, right there, that fancy little sequence. All right. So again, look at that. So they had control, but they also had some beautiful timing. 
Of course, I like some of those special moves. Some of those moves are mine, guys. I don't mind when people do do other people's moves. That's okay. I like it. You know, they don't necessarily have to give me a shout out, but I know my stuff when I see my stuff. And, it, and it's kind of like bribing the judge. If they knew I was there watching, then I probably wouldn't like it. But I liked it. That was that was great. And I think they had the 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 probably the, the my favorite sequence. It was the most creative sequence out of that and then it just so happens to be something that i made up and i like that I, I like it it was really tough and they put it in a really difficult position that's not an easy sequence to do and then they did it with perfect timing and they added something new on top of it so it wasn't just jacking a move they actually added something more that's that's what this is about guys that's what this is about it's carrying something from the past moving it to the future and adding your little spice that was dope that was dope. Now, first place, guys. First place. <laughs> first place, guys. Jean-Philippe and Margot. Look at this. Look at this. When they come out right there, that little sequence. Oh, dude. They, it was in the transition, and people can't appreciate those syncopations. Look how fast their footwork is. I love it. They had the creativity. They had the timing. They had the solo jazz. Everything was broken in the right spot. Like it was all like fractured movements. It was fast. The timing was good. Now this is the set that got me. I love that sequence right there. They break away from partner dance and they go into some solo. This right here. They come up. They do. Oh, right there. That's it. And they go into a perfect finish. Look at that. And he looks back like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of you all don't know, but Jean-Philippe is a very, very diverse dancer. He does a lot of hip hop, too. So I can see some of that attitude bleeding over into Lindy Hop. And we can't credit hip hop for that. I think Lindy Hop was the first to kind of create that attitude. But he and his partner, Margot, they crushed it. They were my first place couple. Just, just, I think they had the full package that I look for. They had the timing, of course, with the moves. They had the creativity. They had a few. In fact, their creativity wasn't as good, in my opinion, in terms of the move I look for, than my second place couple. That's weird how that works out. But because they had the control, the timing, and the creativity perfectly balanced, they went from partner dancing to solo dancing and back and forth. And then they had maybe one or two moves that stood out when they were connected. Sometimes it's the full package that makes it work. And I appreciate that. I appreciated their dancing. I, I loved it. This was great. This was all around a great competition, man. What do you guys say about this one? Let me know in the comments section below. What did you guys think? Who, who was your favorite couple? What was your favorite moment? I told you guys my perspective on this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my new free classes online. I got a lot of new free stuff, so check it out. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Take care.